everyone welcome or welcome back for those of you that are new my name is melissa and i'm thrilled that you stopped by today so today is sunday reset and with that comes just a lot of things that i do on sundays it never looks the same so it's not like a set routine per se but things that i do that are going to set me up for a good week so it's not like every Sunday I wash the sheets or every Sunday I wash the towels or every Sunday I'm off the floor. Like I specifically look at my week and decide what are the things that I can do right now that are going to set me up for success this week. So what can I do now to make later easier kind of thing? So it looks different every week. Today we are going to uh, swap out the flag in my front yard. Not that that's going to make my week better, but it's going to give me joy because the flag that is currently in our front yard is uh, faded and I am a pretty patriotic person and I don't want to have a faded flag. Like I'm, I'm here to represent. <laughs> so I need to get that swapped out. And for those of you that don't know, you obviously can't throw away a flag, but the proper proper way to dispose of a flag is to fold it into the triangle put it into a safe wooden box and bury it but if you don't want to or aren't in a place to do that i personally don't do that you can take it to like your american legions boy scout troops uh, your vfw and give it to them and they will discard of it the proper way. So just a little tidbit there in case you were curious. So we're going to uh, swap that out. I need to clean out the microwave. I need to clean off like the top of the stove. It just looks a sight. Uh, what else do I need to do? And we need to make pancakes. So I do my pancakes a little bit different. I do sheet pan pancakes because I'm not looking to stand over a skillet for like an hour to get 10 pancakes. So I will show you how I do that. I actually travel this week. So I am going to be traveling on Thursday. Uh, I've got to go to Orlando from Thursday to Saturday. And so uh, I actually need to put my outfits and stuff together for that, which you will see that in uh, Day in the Life on Wednesday. I'm not gonna do that today, I'm not gonna have time to do that. But I do need to put together my Zach Bryan outfit. So as some of you know, because of my uh, double mastectomy back in February, I did not get to go with my kids and Sam to Bailey Zimmerman because I was not going to be in a place to do that. It was like barely a week after my surgery. And so I didn't get to go, but now Sam's gonna not be able to go cause he's already going to be in Orlando and I'm taking the kids to see Zach Bryan. So that's gonna be so much fun, but I need to get my outfit ready for that. That way I'm not like rushing around at the last second, uh, planning and deciding and all of the things. We've got a busy day. Oh, and I want to uh, sand off that table downstairs outside that I didn't get to do last week because of the rainstorm. So I'm hopeful that I can get that done today as well. I've got a lot on my list and yet I still wanna be present for my kids and my family. So we'll see what we can tackle. But those are the boxes that are currently on my list of to-dos. And so we'll see what we can get done and how we can like set ourselves up to have just a really good productive week ahead. So let's see what we can do. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is swap out this flag uh, with this one here. And this will be linked in my storefront. These are actually embroidered, which is great. Like nothing is printed, it's made in America, all of that, really great flag. I've bought like five of these over the years. But this one is just getting uh, a little bit unraveled and obviously faded. So I want to get that um, swapped out and just freshened up. It's getting closer to midnight. I tried to get closer to you. Drinking courage. 
reach from my red cup now I will soon make a move Ooh, I can taste it The bittersweetness of taking a shot A risk we're taking If it's a shot of love Baby, I adore you Maybe I adore you Yeah, I'm Feeling higher and higher I'm up on cloud nine Baby, I adore you I try to focus on breathing So first of all, I am going to start out with the pancakes because I want to do all of my baking. That way I can then come in and clean everything like the stove and the oven and the microwave and not have to get it dirty again. So we are going to start with our sheet pan pancakes. And the first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 425. And then what I do, move all of this is I prepare my pan and my pan is 12 by 17. You can also use a 13 by 18. It just depends on what you have. But then I get some coconut oil and that is how I prep my pan. I don't use um, like Pam or anything like that. We really only use EVOO, uh, avocado oil, and um, coconut oil. So I just prep the pan here. You want to get the sides and the bottom because your pancakes are going to come up a little bit on the side. And the um, coconut oil just gives a really good flavor to the pancakes as well. So it's kind of kind of just a really good substitute. And you just wanna make sure and coat the whole thing so that it doesn't stick because there's not much worse than that. I'm having to have an extra mess. So this is done. That is ready for us for when we are ready to pour. And then next we're going to prep our ingredients. We're gonna do all of our uh, dry ingredients first. So we're gonna mix together the flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. So we are going to first do three cups of flour. And I am using the flour that is linked in my Amazon storefront. This is the flour from Italy that uh, does not affect Chloe in my stomach and we love it. Uh, this is the only flower that I use. There is one other one that I've seen floating around that doesn't have as much gluten in it, but I don't, I have never tried that one. This one is not a gluten-free flower. It just is processed much differently. So I guess that's why it doesn't affect the stomach. I don't know, comment if you know the scientific part of that. I do not. All right, so we've got our three cups of flour and a little bit of a mess over here that I need to clean up. I am the toddler in the kitchen today, apparently. All right, and then we need three tablespoons of sugar. I am using 100% monk fruit today. A lot of times I will do half and half like monk fruit and stevia, but with these, I just do all monk fruit. And then we're gonna do three tables, or no, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of baking powder. one teaspoon of salt. There we go. And I'm just using uh, pink Himalayan salt. 
Okay, so now we're going to just kind of stir and combine all of this. And then once that is combined, we are going to add all of our wet ingredients. So we've got two cups of milk. We use the A2 milk. That doesn't affect Chloe's body. Usually she does uh, milk, but like with baking and stuff, if I don't want to use all of the milk because it comes in a much shorter uh, container, then I'll use the A2 and that doesn't affect her. Then we're going to do two eggs. One teaspoon of vanilla. a half a cup of melted butter and then you're just going to combine all of this and then we're going to add it to our pan And just spread that out evenly. I'm telling you, this will absolutely be a game changer for you in making pancakes. You will no longer find yourself just standing over a griddle, eating in shifts, trying to keep the pancakes warm. <laughs> It's just, uh, that is a thing of the past. And when I take them out, you'll see I'm just going to cut them in squares. And that is how we either freeze them or keep them in the refrigerator throughout the week for the kids' uh, breakfast before school. Okay. Let's get this off because I hate wasting. Like, it goes against everything I believe in. All right, that is done. And then what we are going to do is just sprinkle our blueberries over the top of the uh, batter. And you can do it however you want to. I just kind of try to imagine what my squares are gonna look like and just kind of make sure that, like each of my squares is gonna have maybe three or four blueberries, but there's really no rhyme or reason to this. It's just however many you want will be perfect. Also, this is a great thing, like if you're needing to hurry and get rid of uh, your blueberries or raspberries, this is a great way to do that and not have to throw them away. So just kind of eyeball it, look and see what makes sense. I think we've got it pretty even there. And now we are just going to put this in the oven, uh, 425 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Now that my cooking is finished, I want to clean the microwave and the stove. So what I do to clean the microwave is I just put in some vinegar, 
So for this, I do about one cup. And then I put just a little bit of dish soap. And then we're going to do about two cups, two and a half cups of water. And then we're just gonna put this in the microwave. And you are going to run it for, I do about two and a half, three minutes. And then I just keep coming back and looking. You want, when you open up your microwave, you want all kinds of condensation around it because that's what's going to break down the grease and the grime in your microwave and allow you to just be able to wipe it off. So once that is done, I ended up doing it for about seven minutes total. But as you can see, there is just condensation all over. Everything is loosened up. And then uh, you can just go ahead and wipe it off. Here's the door. All of that is loosened up as well. You've got condensation down here. I go ahead and take out uh, this glass tray and wash it in the sink and then put it back in. But let me just show you how easily this just wipes off. Just like that. And then in here, as many of you know, it's just sometimes impossible to get the grime and stuff off the roof of your microwave but not when you do it this way because it just literally wipes right off. And that is nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe the rest of this, clean the tray, and we'll be done with this job. All right, as you can see, it is all nice and clean, grime free. We got our tray as well and we are ready for a new week next up is the stove and as you can see we've got a lot going on <laughs> now we've got some oil some butter uh, looks like maybe some flour over here from Christian making chicken nuggets like we've just got a lot we've got a lot of like grease smears this type of thing here. So we need to get this all cleaned up, grease and butter free. So that is what I'm going to do uh, right now. I use a uh, Mr. Clean Eraser and an SOS pad to do my stove cleaning. So let's go ahead and tackle this. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Falling down, 
I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. The stove is all clean. This is such a great feeling. It has not looked like this for a little bit. <laughs> So I'm extremely excited to have it uh, grease-free, butter-free, oil-free, all the freeze. And we're ready to start uh, a new week, clean and fresh. I already had someone steal a bottom of this, but I wanted to show you how I go about cutting them. I just use a pizza cutter. I find that it is so much easier and I can, sorry, this is super hard uh, with one hand, but I can just kind of roll right through. Normally this is way easier, but because I'm holding it with one hand and it keeps uh, sliding on me. Let me just cut it and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, there we go. This is what they look like cut. And then you can just take them out. I put them in baggies, put them in the freezer, and the kids just pop them in the uh, toaster oven in the morning. So I'm going to get these out of the pan and package them and then I will show you uh, what I do from there. Christian is mowing and I'm going to try to say this really fast before he gets back over here <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and sand this down and get all of the old stain off which isn't a lot and then we will go ahead and seal it uh, just natural.
the table is done and I am really, really happy with it. I have wanted to get this done for so long, but because life uh, happened, I wasn't able to. So it feels so good to just get this marked off my list before all of the kids start coming back over here, before Sam and I start hosting things. And it was really easy to do. Like I showed you, it had pretty much weathered itself. So to sand it was really easy. And then I just wiped on uh, the wax. And I think that it gave it just enough color to make it really fit into this space. And I mean, it literally probably took me, I don't know, like an hour, hour and a half to do this entire project, which really isn't bad considering. Uh, I know that I'm probably going to get some questions. No, this is not one table. This is actually two tables that we put together and I got them from, oh mercy, I think it was Walmart. I'll have to look and see if I can still find a link. Uh, we got them when we first moved here and so I don't know if they're still available or if there's anything like it available, but we just, uh, put two tables together that way we would have enough space for just a lot of people and to fill the space that this needed to fit in so I'm really happy with it turned out great and I can mark this off my list as a success so now the whole backyard space is all finished everything that I needed to get done back here has been completed and I'm really happy about that because I have to travel this week and we start all of our hosting stuff the week after I get back. So I get back on uh, Saturday evening and then we start hosting that next week. So it's good to not have to think about coming back and doing these projects uh, and knowing that everything is done and ready to go and I can put my energy and thoughts somewhere else. All of my groceries for the week are here. Uh, the Walmart stuff I went to pick up, everything else was delivered Instacart. And I'm not gonna show you guys the food prep this week just because I've done a lot. I still have things that I really wanna get done before the end of the day. And it is 4.22. And I don't really want to take the time to like move the camera, start the camera, stop the camera, all the things. So uh, I'm just going to show you what I got because I have a fairly large grocery haul and it's exciting to see what other people buy. At least I think so. So I still wanted you to see it, but I'm not going to do the meal prep for today. I mean, I am, but you're not going to see it. <laughs> so let's start over here. Uh, we've got some gnocchi. These are our breakfast uh, chicken links. Got orange juice, Brussels sprouts, very tiny zucchini. I mean, no, no hormones were given for those. And then we've got sun-dried tomatoes, mozzarella. This is the only brand of cheese that I buy for like shredded or sliced. We've got chicken breast, which might I add, this is ridiculous. If anybody can share like a online kind of wholesale organic meat place, <laughs> I would love to know because this is just like, I can't even with this. 1041, 2275, like it just, oh really finds me irritated. So I would love to know if any of you use a service like that, or I guess not really a service, but a company, uh, because I am definitely in the market. All right, uh, we've got some sweet corn on the ear, and then our turkey bacon. Then we've got raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, and then both kinds of butter. This is the only butter that I buy. We've got heavy whipping cream, cold brew, almond milk. We've got uh, a leek and some parsley. 
our uh, eggs, which I need to get those going in the Instant Pot so that those can be ready for the week. And then I was lazy and did a uh, rotisserie chicken to get the kids' uh, lunches and stuff ready for the week. We've got some noodles, lettuce, spinach, yellow and red pepper, our almond creamer. Uh, this is what everybody in my family uses. I don't use it, but they love it. We've got uh, black beans, Parmesan, and then mini M&Ms, our chocolate chips, and monk fruit. And then we've got green chilies. But my kids love these fig bars. I've showed you guys the IQ bars, but uh, they also really like the fig bars as well. And looky here, friends, we are getting prepared. Pumpkin spice tea, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, then we've got a white onion, red apple, limes, avocado, and then I've got some uh, Pecorino Romano, and then I never know how to say this. I wanna say Koja, but that sounds wrong now. <laughs> So if someone can give me the phonetic spelling, that would be great. And then watermelon, cantaloupe, banana. We've got the cherry uh, Gatorade Zero, and then Zevia, peaches, grapes, applesauce for my pill taking, and then uh, two pie crusts, and then tortillas romaine this is the toothpaste uh, that we all use i needed some more mascara and i love this one i i've tried other ones and i always end up coming back to this so this is for sure my tried and true uh, q-tips gum we've got three here chloe needs some in her backpack and then uh, I need some in my car and for traveling. And then we've got uh, forks for their lunches. I need this puffy paint for a project that I'm doing on my sleeve that I have to travel with. I told you guys a little while ago that I just could not do the pink one anymore. It just, oh, I didn't like it. And so I am doing a black one but I'm adding some like pink design with the pink ribbon so I'll show you guys that when I do it but that's what that's for and then I needed some thank you cards or just like greeting cards this is my folder that uh, I'm going to use for all of my Thanksgiving and Christmas like recipes planning all of that I have a Christmas binder and a, a fall slash Thanksgiving binder that you guys have seen or planner rather but this is where I keep all of my like recipes and things like that that are for that and the one that I've always used which is exactly like this got bent last year so I needed to replace that and then this is a gift box for a gift uh, for a friend of mine and then shea butter because the tamoxifen that I have to take makes my skin so dry. Like it literally is flaking off. And the Aveeno that I've been using just is not cutting it. So we are going to try this one and see if maybe that will help things out. Uh, also, I am in the market for a good like root boost, uh, boosting mousse for finer straight hair that does not leave my hair feeling like there's tons of product in it. Like I don't want to be able to feel the greasiness of this after I've styled my hair. So I did a little bit of research, found this one, and I will let you guys know if I like it or not. And then last, we've got paper towels and laundry detergent. So I am going to go ahead and get all of this put away, prepped, and ready for the week. 
If you are not new, you have seen me do this a thousand times, but since we've had so many new people join us, which is awesome, I wanted to go ahead and show you, uh, if you are new, how I do my eggs for hard boiled eggs for the week. So I will just put an entire carton in my Instant Pot and I stick them on the little uh, like metal stand that comes on the inside of that and I fill it up just right under that stand. So my eggs are not submerged. They just have water just right under them. And then I go ahead and uh, close up my lid, set it on manual, and then I go ahead, put the lid on, and then I'll show you what I do next. I bring my Instant Pot outside on my front porch or my back porch so it just kind of depends on what we've got going on and then i go ahead and just do manual for seven minutes and it's ready to go and it's not going to smell up my house i don't have to smell the whole egg smell that comes with boiling hard boiled eggs i don't have to mess up my stove and it's just something that can be working while I'm doing uh, something else on my list. And then once the eggs are finished, you are just going to drain them, put new water in, uh, preferably cold water. And then I just put a bunch of in with that. Just let them sit for about 20 minutes. And when you go to crack them and peel them, they will literally just rub right off. This cantaloupe is not quite ripe. And so I'm just gonna let it um, sit there for another day or two before I actually cut it. And then here is the fridge. I've got everything prepped and ready for the week. Here are our eggs. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> and we are just all stocked and ready. We've got leftover donuts from Christian's birthday party just noticing it still says spring mix on it so I've got to get that off of there but I've got my rotisserie chicken ready for tomorrow so all I need to do is take that off of the bone but all of this is all ready. I still don't have my uh, clothes picked out for Zach Bryan so we will just have to do that uh, tomorrow in our day in the life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found some inspiration in this video today to just incorporate little things into your Sunday to set yourself up for success, to have a really productive week. Sometimes it's big projects, sometimes it's little projects, but it's just things that you can put into place to just kind of set you on the right path. They don't have to be big things. They can very much be little things, but it's what are those things that will help you feel accomplished before your week begins so that you can enjoy your week, be able to pivot accordingly in your week if need be, and not feel uh, stressed and overwhelmed. If you are not following me over on Instagram, jump over there. I post pictures of my home. You kind of get a behind the scenes view of what we do around here outside of just these regular edited videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love it if you would join our little community over there. If you hung out with me all day today and marked off all the boxes, got all of the things done, I would love it if you would just let me know who I hung out with today and leave the flag emoji down below.
And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, but feel like you can get maybe some inspiration throughout your week or different ideas to incorporate into your home, I would love it if you would click on that subscribe button. And if you click on that bell, it will notify you every time there's a new video. That way you won't ever miss out on anything. We have a lot of stuff. Uh, that is going to be coming about over the next couple months as we get into fall and Thanksgiving and Christmas. And yes, for those of you asking, I am doing Vlogmas this year. So stay tuned for that and make sure, like I said, that you've clicked the bell so that you don't miss out on any of it. And as always, the QR code up above, anything that I ever mention or purchase for my home that I would suggest to anybody else is linked on that uh, QR code. It'll take you straight to my Amazon storefront if you are interested. All right, friends, until next time, be intentional about what is important and necessary and eliminate all of the rest. I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.